What's up guys, Card Pro Titan is here. Today I'll be doing an all new deck profile on my uh, Silverton Strike deck. So basically Silverton have further support with the all new Fighters Collection 2015, uh, giving them access to Strike right now. Um, this is really really important because um, previously before Strikes were even released in Silverton, the even though the choir deck is really strong, um, they can't, but they still can't compare to the speed of Triple Drive, which is obviously OP. So with the all new um, strike we have, uh, Triple Drive, and we got a really really awesome strike. Um, this deck actually runs really well and fast, and of course you can dish out huge magic numbers and huge huge damage, or whatever you call it. And yeah, it's currently able to keep up with the competition out there, which is really impressive. And you, you gotta admit, you gotta you gotta love the art of um, the new Silverton Master Dragon Master, Dragon Master. So yeah, let me quickly go on the deck profile before I explain more. Um, this deck has a lot of combos as explained. I'm gonna explain a lot of combos in this video, so um, bear with my very very boring video if you think so. I guess. So yeah, let me quickly go on deck profile. First, we play four. Uh, Lequire. Um, Silverton Queen Laquire Venus. So yeah, um, pretty much I'll be using my old deck build for this because the old deck build is really perfected almost. And all you need is just buy four copies of the strike, throw it in, and yeah, top tier. Not say top tier, it might be a good tier deck, a very decently fun to play deck. Um, so yeah, um, Silverton Laquire uh, Queen Queen Laquire. Yeah, uh, ability is Count Blast Two. E special count plus two, then soul charge two cards into the soul, and then from the soul superior core units, um, adding up total grade six. So if you count, uh, count like the body fight rule, like you can only call out to uh, three grade three. Um, you can call a few, call five units on the field equals to grade um grade six. So six grade. So you could call. This is a soul you call the soul you can call either two great trees which you don't wanna you wanna call lots of size ones and size two so up to the total of grade six and yeah she's really good because at two count last you could easily fill up your fill she's somewhat something like um a fellowship circle in the great silver wolf gamma li liberator but she's much consistent because you get to call um units from your soul. Um, which this deck is really good at because um, you are able to toolbox a lot of cards into the soul, which makes it an like so called second hand because you can easily call them out. Um, even if they get destroyed by Kagero, you can just refuel the uh, refuel the fuel like for free. Come last two, which is a very nice uh, cost as well because you can make it to OP. Second ability, of course, if you have Laquire in the soul, um, it's a cross right. So 13k base during a strike format is amazing. So don't leave that out. For Laquire Venus. Next, of course, is the most sought after card um, when the hype was all out. Uh, for Laquires, where I get I, you could actually play um, reverse, but I just like to play consistently. Uh, I like to quit, because this deck, my deck, my main of the deck is the main aim is just to get her out ASAP, and get the cross right. I mean, it's very easy. However, her skill is not that good because her limit break is not really worth pulling off. But if I can be completely honest with you, if you pull off a limit break, that is actually good enough for you to maintain with this with her. Because all you want to do with the limit break is actually just to fill up the field with um, rising upright lions, which is the the heart of the combo. Because the uh, upright lion can hit up to thirty k unboosted, which is really good with pale moon very easily. So yeah, you could actually if you're really in desperate need, you can actually use a skill the count last three to call. A great three two one zero, three two one zero from the soul, uh, yeah, but not recommended. You could require Venus fulfills that that role much easier. Great twos, we play four upright lions, four lions because lions the best. Uh, ability is basically whenever another card get caught from the soul. So for example, I use a skill call another card out while he's on the field. Um. He gains plus 3k power. So imagine her ability to call a bunch of units. So the quiet Venus skill counter blast call 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 whatever. I'm I'm just giving an example. So it called four units, one, two, three, four. Four times three uh, 12k. 12k plus nine 19 20 28k. 
yeah, you got a 20k, 28k attacker just like that. Yeah, this is how easy you could um, boost your upright lion too. And with many more combos, I can actually easily get him up to 40k really easily with the new strike shenanigans you can pull off right now. So yeah, um, for upright lions because upright lions are awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna show more combos soon. So stay tuned. Right, for rising dragon. Uh, Rising Dragon is just a 12k bit stick, just in case you can't run over your cross rights in this format because cross rights are getting quite popular right now. With the with either um, they try to revive old decks with either cross right or um, legion support. So yeah, um, um, three of her. I don't know what the ability is. Um, Counter Blast one when attack hits, you can superior call one silver tone from the soul. Uh, to your empty regular circle. However, the end of the turn you have to put it back to the soul. So it's like a, you uh, borrow me your power for one, one counter blast. However, with a lot of new cards, um, I mean not a lot of new cards. With her, you can actually make the card permanent with a combo. So yeah, it's good. Right, great ones. We play falls. Arena, arena. Yeah. Uh, when this card plays at the vanguard circle or call as a rare guard. You can look at the top two cards of the deck, choose one of them, put the soul and put You may choose up to one of them and put the soul. Or you could put it otherwise the other one you have to put at the bottom bottom of the deck. So yeah. She is very good for your starting up Vanguard because she helps um, quickly fatten your soul, which you need to quickly do before you put off a combo. For Zyamas, because Zyamas is like the the best pale moon card, let's be honest. She's basically a purple trapezist for Silverton at a free and a very simple cost. Um, whenever she's caught to the regard circle, you can choose the cost is to p place any other card from your uh, field into the soul. So yeah, let's say you got this. Summon, put her in. Then you can call out another card which is not Zelma. So you can call her out, yeah. Yeah, so basically what you do is um, she helps you cycle your... Uh, helps you juggle your, um, your soul so that you can pump up your... Upright Lions. Yep, she's good. And don't you love cat ears and fox ears? I love the fox. I love the team because they have fox and cat ears. Yeah, that's very cute. All right, next we play Perfect Guards. Yeah, because Silverton Perfect Guards. Because this deck is really uh, special counter plus heavy on Silvertons. Two of these. When this card boosts and attack hits, you can superior call one card from the soul. At the end of turn, return back to the soul. Uh, exactly same thing as this, just that you can boost your vanguard to, um, so that you pressure your opponent to guard because otherwise you get a free plus one, which is really awesome. Right for the triggers, uh, the triggers has uh, changed a bit since the choir Venus, and I'm still gonna plan to maintain it. So I'm gonna play the rainbow, the rainbow setup, crits, stands. The reason why I play stand in this deck is because. Um, Upright Lion can go up to 30k really easily, and when you pull him, if you get to pull off his, um, you pull off your, sh your skill shenanigan thing, Scorion uh, stand trigger kills your opponents more than a crit trigger. Yeah, crit trigger, you get perfect guard, alright, I just restand, and yeah, see how you got that. Draws, because draws are still there, and heals. OP heals. Alright, um, the starter we have here is this girl. Yeah, basically a very nice skill. Um, from the field, of course, you have the pioneer effect, right? A call to rear guard. Uh, ability is put in soul. Look at the top five cards of the deck and choose one, grade one, two, and three from among it and put in your soul. Put uh, shuffle the rest back of the deck. The reason why um, um, the reason why I really like her is because she allows you to shuffle the deck. Because with a lot of arena plays, if you play arena a lot. You get most of the time you get all your triggers stuck at the bottom of the deck, so you uh, once you think you're you're ready to score triggers, score triggers, um, just call out, put in soul, and shuffle your shuffle your deck. Make sure you separate your triggers properly because you don't get your triggers stuck at all at one point, which fails. So put it out. So here's a main skill, and she's very good because she can help, sometimes help you uh, score a lucky, uh, putting your cross right into your soul thing. It's always nice to have. So yeah, let me go on to the strike deck, the one that everyone has been waiting for. Um, play 4, Silverton, Dragon Master, Laquire. Yeah, Laquire. 
<clears throat> so apparently from white hair, she had regained her black hair again. Very interesting because her hair changed. She dyed her hair all the time. Oh my god. So yeah, um, black hair, white hair, black hair. So basically she looks like her more. So apparently I think she got um, she got white hair because she was suffering from a reverse disease. Yeah, after that she came back from reverse. So I guess she rec kind of recovered but I said I don't think so because her eye looks red. It's reverse. Alright, what her, um, her skill is really good because um, when you perform strike once per turn, you can activate ability. It's basically <coughs> her skill is activate a skill. Um, the cost is to pay put two cards from your field into the soul, then superior from your soul superior call any two uh, super ton units. Oh, sorry, you have to. You have to soul charge two first. So this, it goes like this. Um, skill. Put two cards from your um, field to the soul. Then soul charge two cards into the soul. Then after that, superior call uh, any two... Uh, any two um, pale moon from the... I mean, sorry, silver ton. Yeah, uh, any two silver ton from the soul. Yeah, this may seem like a very, very um, boring skill. However, if you think about it, she helps you maintain that... Um, that high beat the high beat stick combo with upright lions. Yeah, that's what she pretty much does. And yeah, you have four copies, so for next four turns your opponent's gotta be in hell. And as and let's not forget she has triple drive, which is awesome. Triple drive, three drive checks. Everybody love that, right? Alright, from for the fueler um stripe we play Luna Square Impact. What's the name? I like his name. Luna Square Impact Clifford. So Clifford's skill is Whenever the attack hits, when you strike, when the attack hits, uh, you can superior call one grade two and below from your soul, and to your regard circle, and the unit gains plus two K power. So uh, what I normally use him for is when I actually fail to get my, I fail to cross right because you you really need to have a cross right to quickly fill up your field. If you really fail to cross right, I normally get him out and well obviously for his triple drive so that I can quickly get to your acquire Venus. Quickly get to Venus, and of course it can help you um, fill up your fuel, so that when you, so that when you, even if you don't get your liquid Venus, you can strike to her next, and she still can do her work by um, forcing soul into her soul and yeah, doing her shenanigans. So this is a very good um, option. I mean, you could actually play the Cray Elemental, but I really like him because he plays with the soul. And yeah, the, the power, um, the super calling from the soul helps upright line as well. Alright, so let's go into combos. Alright, um, let's start from early game combos. Very easy. So early, most of the time, early games, we have feels like these. So let's say... Let's say you have a feel like that. And a glare. Stop it, Claire. Alright, so uh, let's say you have a few like that. Most of the time you'll have one unit. Um, pretty much one unit, let's say her. And maybe one just one attacker. Alright. What you normally want to do is um since you play stand triggers in the deck, you can actually attack with a regard first, then attack with her. I mean opponent will normally uh, guard this because it's only 5k guard. Um attack. Then her skill, if your opponent might want to guard this, but however early game most of my opponents doesn't guard. So if the attack hits, you can counter blast one. Um, superior call one card from the soul, Zelma, which is awesome. Zelma effect is when it's placed in a regard circle, you can put one card from the soul, uh, from the field to the soul, and then superior call out. So there you go. Uh, this is a classic pale moon uh, resending combo unit combo skill. End of turn, Zelma goes back, and you get a free unit for one counter blast and one free column for one counter blast. So that's early game rush, very nice. And next one is of course the the Choir Venus standard shenanigans skill. What you do if her skill, yeah. Okay, what you do is um the Choir Venus you activate a skill. Before you want to do, you want to make the field as empty as possible. So let's say you quickly use this girl to go so uh, fill up your soul. Then of course, require Venus. You can call up to many units. Then you can call more uprising dragons, uprising lions. 
Yeah, Uprise, Uprise Track, Lions. So yeah, you call Lions, and during this skill, if you want to six, yeah, you uh you call up to uh, grade six. So the cool thing about Lions is uh, when they're called even together with all these units, you still gain the power up for the each other card called. So as example, you call this few, he gains plus one, two, three, four, uh, four times um three k, twelve k. And for this lion, you, when he's caught together, he counts 1, 2, 3, 4, for 12k as well. And not forget Zama effect, you can put something in, coming out again, 5 five times, 15k plus 15k plus 15k. So this is why Sand Trigger is really viable in this deck. Okay, um, now uh, that you play, back in the days where we play, we get normally play until we have run out of Counter Blast. So now what we normally do is, instead of going for Counter Blast, uh, when you have run out, where you've run out of counter blast, what my combo is, since Lacroix Venus easily fills out the field for lions, you wanna quickly um get lions because it, because he, once you get uh pull her strike effect off, lions is gonna be very deadly. So ability is put two cards back from the field. So so charge two and superior call two. So each line will gain um. For now, it gains plus two power because two cards are super card. So gain two, gain two. Then with Zelma skill, you can activate ch uh, chain one Zelma skill. Chain one Zelma go in and super call out. So each gain another 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 three k. Then this Zelma skill, you can put this Zelma in. Yeah, you can put Zelma in and put something that's not Zelma. Ugh. And Irina, maybe anything, so they gain additional cuts. So just just with one strike, your light up light upright lions gains plus four times three twelve k, twelve k twelve k twenty. Both of the lions are twenty seven k, just like this. Even if you only have one lion, it's twenty seven k. So if you set, score ten, it's dead. And with triple drive and all the deck thinning can do, uh, scoring scoring ten is really easy. Yeah, most of the time, by the time you actually perform strike, your deck is going to be very thin out because Silver Moon, uh, Silver Tons are really good at t deck thinning. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my long and boring deck tutorial on my uh, Silver Moon, Silver Moon, Silver Ton, um, Silver Ton Pale Moon deck. So remember, add me on Facebook and subscribe for more deck profiles upcoming. I'll be doing um, the non new Metabox. Uh, hit. Hyper Metabox Heavy Duke soon, so yeah. Just for those fanboys who want to see how it looks like, I guess I can try to make it. Yeah, she looks fantastic. Yep, so remember to pick up a copy of it today because she is really hot. Peace out and love you guys. Remember, subscribe, guys. Love you.